the souls of the saints are rejoicing in heaven, the saints who follow the footsteps of Christ, and since for love of him they shed their blood, they now exalt with Christ forever. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the Feast of Two Holy Martyrs of the Church, St. John Fisher and St. Thomas More. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrary of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in martyrdom have brought true faith to its highest expression, Graciously grant that, strengthened through the intercession of Saints John Fisher and Thomas More, we may confirm by the witness of our life the faith we profess with our lips. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Reading from the second book of Kings. Samaneser, kings of Assyria, occupied the whole land and attacked Samaria, which he besieged for three years. In the ninth year of Hosea, king of Israel, the king of Assyria took Samaria and deported the children of Israel to Assyria, settling them in Hala at the Habor, a river of Gozan, and the cities of the Medes. This came about because the children of Israel sinned against the Lord, their Lord, who had brought them up from the land of Egypt, from the under domination of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and because they venerate other gods. They follow the rise of the nations, whom the Lord has cleared out the way of the children of Israel and the kings of Israel whom they set up. And though the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and seer, give up your evil ways and keep my commandments and statutes in accordance with the entire Lord, which I enjoy on your fathers and which I sent you by my fathers, the prophets. They did not listen, but were as stiff naked as their fathers, who had not believed in the Lord their God. They rejected his statutes, the covenant which he had made with their fathers, the warnings which he has given them, till in his great anger against Israel. The Lord put them away out of his sight. Only the trial of Judah was left. The War of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response of the Psalms is Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. O God, you have rejected us and broken your defenses. You have been angry, rally us. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. You have robbed the country and split it open. Repair the cracks in it, for it is tottering. You have made your people feel hardships. You have given us superfine wine. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. 
Have not you, O God, rejected us, so that you go not forth, O God, with our armies? Give us aid against the foe, for worthy is the help of men. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. According to Matthew, Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging that you may not be judged. For as you judge, so will you be judged. And the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me remove that splinter from your eye, while the wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. So today we celebrate the feast of Two great men who had the courage to stand up to King Henry VIII of England in defense of the faith and in defense of the truth. St. John Fisher was a cardinal bishop. He was the counselor to Margaret, the mother of Henry VIII, and he was a tutor to him as he was growing up. And after refusing to help King Henry VIII uh, pursue his divorce, St. John was put to death for his fidelity to the truth and the indissolubility of marriage. And St. Thomas More uh, was uh, another advisor to Henry VIII, and he was an English lawyer, philosopher, and Renaissance humanist. And he was also an opponent to the Protestant Reformation, uh, particularly the movements of Martin Luther and William Tyndale. He was imprisoned for refusing to take the first act of succession and denounced both the Pope and the King's marriage to Catherine of Aragon. In uh, 1535, both of these great men were tried for treason and beheaded, becoming martyrs for the faith. And these two men are examples to us of right intention, unity of life, and fidelity to the truth. I thought it was interesting that uh, G.K. Chesterton, in his biography about St. Thomas More, uh, he wrote that St. Thomas More is more important in this moment since his death, even perhaps the great moment of his dying, but he is not quite so important as he will be in about a hundred years' time. And he wrote that in 1929, so we're getting pretty close to that a hundred years. Maybe the time is not far off when more saints will be called upon to stand up in defense of the truth and the Catholic faith. So may the intercession of these great martyr saints be with us when that day comes, when we might be called upon to stand up to defend our faith and uh, what we believe in and to stand up for the truth.
Mass today is offered especially for Mary Claire Devlin and Mary S. Trona. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts, we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended. He took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with the saints John Fisher and Thomas More, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. 
Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. It is you who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer a kingdom on you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.